our materials for our pot and pot cooler. The first item that we have here is a towel. It can be either white or any other light colored towel. Here is our second item, which consists of two different size clay pots. Here is our gallon of water. And here is our bag of sand. This is a brief overview of what we're going to be doing. Uh, the first step is that we're going to be placing the smaller pot into the bigger pot. And so we have our bag of sand here and so what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be filling up the sand up to the, uh, the highest part of the smaller pot, so around right here, around this area. And afterwards, until it's filled up to the top, we're gonna fill it. Uh, we're gonna fill that, you know, the sand that we filled into into the gap between the inner pot and the outer pot with as much water until the sand is wet or moist. And afterwards, once that's all done, we're gonna replace this towel right over this pot, or right over the pot, and we wait and we leave it in direct sunlight. So the purpose of pot and pot cooler is to cool anything that goes inside the bay, such as um, juice, water, or even food. And uh, it doesn't cost that much, it just costs about $5. And you can have it everywhere or anywhere you need. You just, you just need uh, direct sunlight and water. And you don't, need, you don't even need any sort of electricity. So at the end of the experiment, we discovered that the apple and the inner pot got much colder than before. Before it was about 75 degrees, now it's about 55 to 60 degrees. And that we also found out that the inner pot depended upon the relative humidity 
outside, the wind breeze, as well as the heat from the direct sunlight that it was placed in, along with the coldness of the water and the um, the, the coldness of the water as well as the the wet towel that was placed on top of the pots.